Hey guys and welcome to the fifth and final section of the third retouch. In this section we're going to be dodging and burning and sharpening and finishing off our image. It's going to be a lot of fun. Alright, let's go ahead and create a new layer and I'm going to group that with itself and we're just going to call this finish. Alright, now in here we're going to do some dodging and burning. So first thing I want to create this layer and we're <laughs> to create this layer. We've already created this layer. We're going to change this layer blend mode from normal down to soft light. All right, and now we're going to start working on dodging, burning, and some facial features. So we're going to start painting some black right here under our subject's lips. All right, a little bit of burning there. And we'll paint with a small brush, a little bit of black right there. All right, and then we're going to paint white right on top of her lips. And up here, we're going to paint white as well. Kind of just trying to follow the highlight that exists there already. Maybe give a little bit of a highlight here where there wasn't one. All right. And with this, I'm just going to be painting with my brush tool. And if there's any area that like I go too far or I, I do something that I wound up not really liking, I'm just going to grab my eraser tool and erase it away. All right. Like this right here doesn't look that great. So we'll just grab the eraser tool and we'll, we'll erase it away. All right. There we go. So let's see the lips before and the after. All right, let's just erase away right over here. We didn't need all that. All right, looking good. Let's create a new layer. She'll go ahead and change this one to soft light as well. And we're gonna work on her nose. Basically, you're just going to kind of carry this white highlight through her nose. There we go. And then on to this way. All right. And let's just lower the opacity of that a little bit. Beautiful. And now with my brush tool, I'm just going to paint black right over here. Kind of straighten out that line a little bit. Okay, cool, looking good. All right, on a new layer, we're going to go change our layer blend mode from normal to soft light again. And I'm gonna try kind of painting some black right here just to kind of finish out the shape of the eye and give the brow a little bit more of an arch. All right, soft light or overlay, both will work. Beautiful. Coming in here and just darkening it a little bit more, which is again going to help exaggerate this area, which really helps the brow look like really nice and large. All right. And again, if you do something and you don't like it, E for the eraser tool. Not too difficult. Okay. Now the other areas, let's go ahead and just um, kind of define some of the thing areas that we generally will dodge and burn on a face. This will help you guys out. Okay. So let's do red is going to be dark, okay? And then we'll do green is going to be light. All right, so this should help you out. So green, you're going to want to look at these areas here to make those lighter. Right around here, you can see we've made those areas a little bit lighter. There we go, here, and then underneath the eye. There we go. This area you want to make a little bit lighter here. All right. This area you tend to want to make a little bit darker. There we go. For cheekbones, you're going to want to make like a nice triangle there, darker. And you can see, I mean, she's got such beautiful cheekbones already. Like she's already, she already has the exact like thing you would want. So um, not <laughs> not a whole lot of work to do when someone already looks like they're retouched when they're not. All right, there we go. Add light here and to create some area on the nose. Generally a light highlight there. Go dark on here. 
Generally we'll paint dark here. This is just going to kind of um, round out the face a little bit more and make it look like it's got some more depth. Paint a little dark on the ear because it doesn't really need to be visible. All right, looking good. And sometimes we'll paint dark right over here and then light right on the edge, which you can see it already has a light edge there. So light, dark above this, and then light. And then you're going to want to paint dark under the chin area there. And that's going to help make your subject stand off. Now her body, you're going to paint light on the top of her breasts, and we're going to paint dark here on the bottom of her breasts. And that's going to help enhance those a little bit. Same thing with here. If we want to enhance, we'll paint light here, and then, whoops, We'll paint light here and then dark in this area. Okay, now with like clothing and things like that, we'll want to paint dark inside of the creases where it already is dark, you can see, and then light on the outside of the clothes. All right, so hopefully that gives you a good idea of what we're actually going to be doing. That actually looks kind of cool. All right, let's zoom in. We'll create a new layer and just change this to, from normal to soft light and keep going. All right, so let's go ahead and choose our retouch brush, one of the larger sizes here. And we're going to be painting with black and white. Make sure your flow is set to about 10% here. That way, I'm painting with white right now, but you can see it, it doesn't like show up right away. Just after I go on it over and over and over again, then you start to really see it. Okay? All right, and for this, I do think being zoomed out is the way to go. All right. There we go. So I'm going to paint a little bit of dark right here to kind of help further enhance her cheek, which I means she doesn't re really need it. Her facial structure is already quite unique. Beautiful large jaw. And paint dark down here, which is going to help separate her out from the... There we go. Paint white right over here just to kind of highlight that jawline. All right, that was maybe a little bit too much, so we'll just grab the eraser tool and erase it away. All right, here we go. Beautiful. We'll paint black right over here above her temple and over here as well. You can see those were areas we outlined earlier. Again, that's just going to help round out her face a little bit more. All right, let's grab the eraser tool. I'm going to redo this area here. It really doesn't need much because her face is already like pretty much. <laughs> it looks retouched already just based on the structure of her face. Beautiful. All right, beautiful. So we'll make our brush a little bit larger now. Go ahead in some larger areas here. Work on the clothing, darkening that up a little bit. And anytime you want, just create a new layer. Like this layer, it looks good, but I think it's too visible. So we're just gonna lower the opacity a little bit. All right, a new layer. We'll just go right back from normal down to soft light. Now her body's already like very well defined. It's, I don't need to go in here and further enhance it. If this was like a portrait of a bodybuilder, then I would, you know, I would like, here we'll show you. Um, <laughs> new layer, sets of soft light. Like if I wanted to like chisel all of these features, we'd go in and paint like light and dark for like every single one of them and like really, you know, chisel them out. like light over here and like a triangle shape and then 
you can give people abs like this if you want. All right, let's erase that. It's kind of fun to actually give her a little bit of abs. All right, so you can see I'm just painting light and dark on here, and I can go in and define all this stuff as as well as I want to, really. You know, she's got a super deep cut there. You can make it look like that. All right. Now, I'm not totally opposed to that, so let's just lower the opacity and get something that's, like, a little bit more subtle. There we go. That looks pretty good. On a new layer, we'll go ahead and change it again to soft light. Let's grab our brush tool, paint with a large round brush right over here on the top of her breasts. And then we'll paint with black here on the bottom of her breasts. That's going to help those stand out a little bit more. All right. Beautiful. There's a before and the after with that. All right. So here we have our dodging and burning. Let's just turn this off and back on. We can see what a difference that makes looks really really good. I'm just gonna lower the opacity a little bit because I think it was just a little too much. Okay good job guys. Alright so now that we're done with our dodging and burning we're gonna create a new group and we'll just call this sharpen. Alright and now we're gonna make a couple stamp visible layers. So shift option command E is gonna make a stamp visible layer and that's just a copy of everything you see on a new layer. Okay, now it's time to desaturate, and you can do that by hitting Shift Command U or going to Image Adjustments and down to Desaturate. All right, and we're going to change our layer blend mode from Normal down to Overlay, and now we're going to create a couple copies. So I'm going to hit Command J three times. All right, now in this layer, we're going to go to Filter, Other, and High Pass. This is going to set us up for sharpening here. And if you guys have already watched the first two retouching tutorials in this series, you're going to be pretty familiar with what we're doing here. All right. Let's set this up for 5.0. Yeah, let's go down to 4.0. She's a little bit farther from the camera, so we're going to be setting smaller radiuses, radii, I guess, that are going to make more sense with this image. All right, there's 10, and then this one will go up to 20 and hit enter. Okay, now obviously this is not going to be visible everywhere. Let's go ahead and start off with our first. Okay, this one I put 0.5. I meant to do 5, so that like didn't even do anything. Let's just delete that one. All right, now this layer, we'll put a black layer mask on this and start painting white over top of her face. And this can be visible over top skin because this is just a, a very general high pass. Okay, so we'll make this visible here. All right, let's go ahead. We don't need that visible right there. Any areas where it might be bringing too much skin texture, you just paint black on the layer mask. But you definitely want this visible over eyes and eyebrows and lips and the hair like this. Okay. So that's the before and the after with that. Now our next one, we're going to put a black layer mask on that as well. And we're going to paint white right over top of the eyes again. All right, and the lips. All right. I really like this texture here in the bra, so I kind of want to bring that out. And I like the texture of this jacket. All right. Cool. And then this guy is going to bring us a lot of sharpening. All right. So we'll put a black layer mask. Hold Alt or Option and click on your layer mask. All right. Visible where our eyes are. All right. And the hair.
All right. That looks pretty awesome. Let's do it. You know what? We're going to do another round. I'm going to make that invisible. We'll create a new layer and another stamp visible. I want this one for the for the shirt here. So again, we'll hit Shift Command U to desaturate. I'm going to change this from normal. We're going to try linear light, which is like super, super effect. And then this, I want to be just visible like for other areas in the photo, like her shirt. All right. What's going to make her shirt look like really just stand out and kick ass? All right, right there about 10. Put a black layer mask on that and then paint white. All right, let's see that before and the after. That looks so nice. And we'll put some over top of her face too. It won't make sense if we have like a... super, you know, if it, if the shirt is really, really, really sharpened, um, but none of the other parts of the image are sharpened, it's not going to make any sense. So we just want to make sure we sharpen other areas like her eyes and whatnot. All right. And you can see I'm not going down all the way here. I'm just sharpening up the top area, and that's going to keep our attention up top where it needs to be. I don't need to look down here so much. This is where we, we want to be. All right. Let's lower the opacity of some of these. They're a little bit too harsh there. All right, so you can see sharpening I do in multiple steps, and it just helps me to get a lot of control over what I'm doing and make sure that I'm not, <coughs> excuse me, that I'm not overdoing it as well. It's really easy to overdo sharpening. All right. There we go. That's beautiful. Turn some of these layers off and on just to be sure that we're we like everything that we've, you know, just changed. Hair, look at that. Awesome. Wow, looking good. All right, we'll create a new layer, group that with itself and call this <laughs> finish 2. I realize I already created one. All right, with this layer, we're going to create a overlay layer, and I'm going to just paint black here on the background. All right, let's change our brush flow to about 20%. And by painting black in the background, just kind of like in a random pattern, it's going to allow my subject to kind of stand out a little bit better. All right, and we're going to kind of paint this darker too. Because again, we want to bring our attention right to our subject, right? So having having a like darker background right around her makes sense. All right. Just don't want to make it look like too obvious that it was done in Photoshop. All right, let's see what that looks like, the before and the after. Just erase everything that's on her face there. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, and here at the very end, let's do a little bit of color toning. I'm gonna grab our color balance adjustment layer and we're going to work on let's start off with our highlights going towards red and then cyan green and magenta and blue and yellow we'll cool this image down just a little bit all right our midtones All right, and here in our shadows. All right, turning this on and off. That looks great. Let's lower the opacity just a little bit. It's going to help her warm skin. It's going to cool her warm skin down a little bit, as well as cool the background down as well. It's just going to help everything just kind of come together really nicely. 
All right. And then, you know what? I don't always do this with portraits, but I think this might, because I really want to make sure that we do focus here, I'm going to look at adding a blur. So I'm going to make a new layer. Okay. Shift Option Command N. It's going to do that. And then Shift Option Command E is the stamp visible. And now I'm going to go to, let's go ahead and save this first. I'm going to use a, um, a field blur or an iris blur, which is a newer feature to Photoshop. And um, I want to go ahead and save because sometimes like these big blurs and like even the Lookify tool, um, they have a lot of resources. Like it, it takes a lot of work from the computer. So you get a risk of like the computer crashing or something like that. So anytime I'm about to like run a big filter in Photoshop, I like to save. It's just a good way to making sure that like, you know, you don't lose all your work. Okay, looking great. Now here on layer 60, we'll go to filter, blur, and then we're going to try, you know, it's blur gallery. We're going to try our field blur. Or, you know what, I actually prefer the iris blur. Let's click on the iris blur. All right. So here, we're going to choose the center of our blur, which is our subject here. Let's go ahead and expand this out quite a bit because we're, we really do want this blur circle to be large. I, I don't want this to be like obvious at all that it, it has a blur. All right. Cool. And now you can see basically the more I blur it, that's the area that's getting blurred. All right, that looks good. So we just lower down the blur quite a bit. And again, we're not going crazy with it. It's just a little bit of a blur is going to help draw more attention to my subject. All right, so let's try a blur of seven pixels and hit OK. All right, she's blurred in the middle. Let's undo this. We'll go back to filter, blur gallery. Let's go to iris blur. I think why well, field blur was actually still on from earlier and that's why it was, she was still blurred in the middle. I was like, why is that going like that? Okay, so if you are, if you change your mind like I do every now and then, um, and you decide you want to go with iris blur instead of field blur, just make sure to uncheck your field blur. All right, there we go. Looking good. All right, and we'll change this down to like seven pixels again. Yeah, we'll go a little bit higher. All right, let's try an even 10 and hit okay. Okay, there we go. It's nice and subtle, that's what we want. So let's look at the before and the after. Her eyes don't really change, right? Because the center of the field blur was here with her eyes. Okay, so those are not changing, but as a whole, the bottom part is a little bit blurred. So before, I'll show you this, before and the after. It's just blurring those a little bit more, which basically forces your eye to look right here at our subject, which is exactly what we want. All right, beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and look at our before and our after with the entire thing, guys. Beautiful, all right. Here's our before, wow, and the after. Before and after. That's insane. She looks so good. Beautiful. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching the third complete retouch. I hope you learned a ton here in this tutorial that um, maybe you didn't learn in the other two. And um, we've got a couple more great sections for you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll we'll learn you later. Bye, everyone.